All right, it is October 1st and it is 31 days after seed down and this is an update of the Hell Strip. All right, here's the money shot of the Mazama. But if you go a little bit higher, voila. Got a lot of bare spots there that uh, I had to either reseed because it didn't germinate or it got washed out when it did, but uh, I did reseed it. And it's roughly, I don't know, 10 days or so after I reseeded that. And it's coming in pretty good in those spots. And here is the Bewitched. On up. And um, similar story to the Mazama. It's hard to say at this point which is doing better. So better and worse in different areas. And the one to one ratio Mazama Bewitched. Here it is. And this is the uh, neighbor's property here. Um, but I asked them if it was okay if I redid it and they were okay with it, which is awesome. Um, but here you can see, <laughs> it kinda went over it a few times with their car. But you know, that's all right, it's their property. I'll deal with it, won't complain at all because I'm super happy they let me do it anyway. Anyway, there, there's that. And uh, let's discuss a few differences I've noticed in the Bewitched and Mazama. Both Mazama and Bewitched are um, okay to be cut low. I think the Mazama is rated to be cut uh, by the seed maker by significantly lower than the Bewitched. But the reason I mention that is because of the growth habit of Mazama. It's a lot different than um, the Bewitched. The Mazama, as you can see here, it, it kind of sprawls out like it shoots one up and two out one up and two out maybe yeah that's pretty much the growth habit of the mazama right and i guess that's why it's um okay to cut it short or partially why at least it looks kind of cool however the bewitched tends to grow a little bit more upright. It still kind of sprawls out a little bit, but not quite as much. I'm trying to see a good example here. Here's a good example. See this guy? Whereas the Mazama is pretty much uh, at a 90 degree angle, this is more of a 50 degree or 60 degree angle kind of shoots up like that, whereas the Mazama goes straight. Uh, also, another difference. The Mazama is slightly darker. Actually, it's a lot more dark right at this point. Now, I don't know if that's just, you know, it's gonna be the same in the long term, but right now, it started off much slower, and now um, um, it's just a lot more darker green. I think this guy's lost because he's in like dress attire. <laughs> Second time I've seen him go past and my mail's already been delivered by another lady. Like literally as I was filming this, strange. I don't know. But there are some patches of the Bewitch that are darker and lighter. Like here's a darker patch and this is slightly lighter and you can see that it's finer blades. So I'm assuming that's just uh, a later germination or younger seed, younger plant than this. This is an older plant, so it's a little bit darker. Uh, so, overall, so good. I think I'm going to cut back water in here. Um, because I, I think they have generally overwatered it, is why it's not growing as fast. I know it's in the sprout and pout stage, but uh, let me show you my back area where I haven't really babied as much. Alright, so this is the back area. Uh, Received. This used to be a, this, a, an area of just a huge pit, like two, two and a half feet down where the kids would run. They'd have to climb down to get crossed here to there. And this go, goes around here in the back of my house in that way. But anyway, this is doing outstanding. Oh my gosh, it's like ready to be cut. And oddly enough, I didn't even fertilize back here. It's the darndest thing. Um, it's totally different. The sun is right here in the evening. So I think this gets uh, much less sunlight. Uh, so that might contribute to it. Well, of course it does, but um, 
Yeah, so I don't know if it's an even comparison, but this is doing really good. The side over here isn't doing nearly as good. I've leveled all this out. This used to be huge. Used to, uh, I don't know, just kind of go really deep in there. So I, I basically made some more usable area here. It used to kind of drop off right there. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. This area back here flooded because they're doing some construction over here. I don't know exactly what they're doing, some type of access road. But yeah, so they did that and it flooded and it stayed flooded for a long time. is isn't really receding too quickly. So I'm really concerned about that. Uh, maybe oh, I'll have to bring in some soil and raise the level so the water will settle, settle elsewhere. I don't know. I'm currently going over my lawn with this bad boy. Uh, getting some good aeration in. I'll um, make a video of that later. And the, this guy, mailman, is, oh my god, he's, he's going again. Look at that. Oh gosh, there he goes. What is he doing? It's like the third or fourth time he's cruised around here. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so anyway, I'm doing with this thing and, uh, uh, damn. That's my thought process. Oh yeah, I'll do an update of that. Yeah, but that's all I had. Thanks for watching. See you later.